हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand coupling capacitors and bypass capacitors. First, let us understand what is coupling capacitors. This figure shows an AC source is connected to capacitor and resistor. Here, the reactance of the capacitor is inversely proportional to the frequency. So we can write X C is equal to One divided by two pi F C. We know that for DC signal, the frequency will be equal to zero. Therefore, the reactance will be equal to infinity. And for AC signal, the frequency value will be finite. Therefore, the reactance value will also be finite value. Here, reactance. is nothing but the resistance offered by the capacitor so reactance is inversely proportional to frequency for a dc signal frequency is zero that's why the reactance will be equal to infinity which means the resistance offered by the capacitor will be infinite for a dc signal for an ac signal frequency is finite value that's why the reactance will also be the finite value therefore we can say for a dc signal the capacitor act as open circuit and for ac signal the capacitor act as closed circuit or closed path so for dc the capacitor act as open circuit and for an ac the capacitor will act as closed circuit since ac signal is connected to capacitor and resistor this capacitor will act as closed circuit or closed path for this ac signal so that all the signal is available across the resistor if this signal was a dc signal then the capacitor will act as open circuit and no signal will flow through the capacitor towards the resistor so we can say the capacitor will act as open circuit for dc signal and it will act as short circuit for ac signal such type of capacitors are known as coupling capacitors here if the frequency is high enough then the capacitive reactance will be very small hence we can say almost all ac source voltage appear across the resistor when capacitor is used in this way we can say the capacitor as a coupling capacitor since it couples all the ac signal to the resistor that's why it is known as coupling capacitor so we can say the coupling capacitor is having two functions it will block dc signal and it will allow only the ac signal into the circuit and out of the circuit since it blocks the dc signal it helps in maintaining the biasing of an amplifier circuit and it allows only the ac signal into the device and outside the device so this is the main function of the coupling capacitor the coupling capacitor couples ac signal into the amplifier without disturbing q point since it blocks the dc signal and allows only the ac signal that's why we can say the coupling capacitor couples the ac signal into the amplifier without disturbing q point now let us see the impedance condition for coupling capacitor we need to remember that the capacitor's reactance must be very much smaller than the resistance at the lowest frequency of ac source here we need to remember that the reactance of a capacitor must be very much smaller than the resistance at the lowest frequency of ac source so this reactance should be 10 times less than the resistance that's why we can write xc should be less than 0.1 times resistance so this is the condition for good coupling 
So this reactance must be 10 times smaller than the resistance at the lowest frequency of operation. When this 10 is to 1 rule is satisfied, then figure A can be replaced by figure B. So when this 10 is to 1 rule is satisfied, this figure A can be replaced by figure B, which means this coupling capacitor will act as short circuit or closed circuit for AC input signal. The magnitude of impedance can be given as Z is equal to square root of R square plus XC square. In this formula, if we substitute the value of XC, we can write Z is equal to square root of R square plus 0 0.1 square. So from this, we can say Z is equal to 1.005 R. From this equation, we can say this impedance is within the half percent of resistor R at lowest frequency. Hence, the current in figure A will also have the half percent less than the current in figure B. Therefore, we can approximate capacitor as short circuit or it can be used as an AC short as shown in figure B for an AC signal. A bypass capacitor is similar to coupling capacitor which blocks DC and allow AC signal. This bypass capacitor is connected in parallel to emitter terminal. These bypass capacitors are not used to couple a signal between two points. Instead, they are used to create an AC ground. The bypass capacitors are not used to couple the signal between two points. Instead, they are used to create an AC ground as shown in this figure. Figure A shows an AC voltage connected to the resistor and capacitor. The reactance of the capacitor is inversely proportional to the frequency. So we can write x is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi fc. So in this case, if frequency is high enough, then the reactance will be much smaller. In this case, the AC signal will appear across the emitter terminal will be effectively shorted to ground as shown in figure B. So the bypass capacitor will act as AC ground for the AC signal that is appearing across the, the emitter terminal. So AC source voltage that appear across emitter is effectively short to ground. That's why it is known as bypass capacitor. Since the capacitor bypass are short all the AC to ground, hence it is known as bypass capacitor. For a good bypass capacitor, the condition is similar to coupling capacitor, which means XC should be less than 0 0.1 times R. When this condition satisfies, we can replace figure A with figure B. This is about coupling capacitor and bypass capacitor. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.